everyone. Once again, it is the All New Nerds podcast, and we are here to deliver Star Wars news, Marvel news, whatever, whatever there is to talk whatever, about. Whatever, whatever. Uh, of course, I am always joined by Johnny. Johnny, how you doing? I'm all right. But ooh, newcomer. It's like newcomer. The, you know the Smash Brothers, like um, like <laughs> new fighter has joined. We yeah. have. Can I get a drum roll, Johnny? Levi, Whoa. there he is. Here we I go. Am. Whoa, are honorary you member. Levi? The I'm Levi? An, I, an honor, the honorary member of the All, all, right, all right. You are all right today. Recording this, you are officially the third member of All New Nerds. This Thank is Levi. You. He is. I'm gonna let him introduce himself, but he is a yeah, real well, cool yeah. dude. He uh, knows more about Star Wars and a lot of things apparently than anybody that I know. <laughs> He's and got a he's notebook add, filled. That's, that's, that's quite the compliment. Wow. He's, <laughs> he's going to add a lot to this, our content. And I don't know. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? We're, we're, we are honored to have, him, to have him join us. The spotlight's on you. Well, if I wasn't cool enough already from that intro that Dylan, <laughs> my, middle, my full name is Levi James Bond. So how yeah. about that? Yeah, about that, I'm pretty jealous about that. How about it that? It is? Yeah. I did not know that. James Whoa, Bond. I, I kind of put sick. it together, but I never really said anything. I didn't know the J was. Oh, that's. I couldn't. Sick. I couldn't Wait. give it to you. But. Yeah. It's, it's pretty, oh man, you yeah, should have. So. Oh, Dylan's better at intros than I am, so I'm what glad that do, he viewers? did. Well, yeah, I am happy to be joining the all new nerds. I reached out to John. John here, because I saw him. That's me. In the Kessel Run transmissions chat and on the show, which I am the moderator of. Some of you may know. Shout out to KRT. I, KRT. Yeah, go check them out for all your You got a good show over there. KRT. Leaks and scoops. And uh, yeah, so the just the idea of all new nerds and the sort of new generation of nerddom, it really attracted me to that brand. And I the new generation. And I wanted to I wanted to add to that that to that collaborative effort and this new uh, new wave of nerddom. So here I yeah. am. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah, want yeah. I want to make it clear because I because I, because when you were like first we were first talking about about the channel and stuff, I mean Dylan and I like we're kind of reflecting on like where did the, how did we come up with the name and we literally, we literally I couldn't think of a name and then Dylan was just like why not all do nerd but I like that Levi has brought it to a whole different meaning because that we that was not intentional, so well I'm, I'm there was always like. Out some meaning to it it just never really yeah, formulated yeah, like, into like a like this is conscious like, yeah. was i should mm. say that yeah I, sh- I should give us some credit you're right because originally it was like let's do a star wars name and then it's like well we're really into more than just star wars like we wouldn't want to lock ourselves into just star wars you know however so, uh, judging by our backgrounds lots yeah of yeah yo star wars is the prime lots of star, of star wars it's definitely uh it's definitely our wars. strong suit but uh, i don't know lots we're into anything man i'll talk yeah. about anything yeah. Any, yeah. And yeah. speaking but about talking about Levi anything, I likes other stuff too. So, why don't we go do ahead I, and I talk like about this. anything? Dead what silence. Dead silence. <laughs> all right. See you guys. What, right, what is it called? It yeah. Bye. All right. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for bye, everybody. The thank all you. New nerds. It was a great oh. podcast. Sign it was a I great was go. We, we tried. Should... We tried. You know, what can you do? You can't do anything. It doesn't work for everyone. It's not the life for everyone. Sorry, guys. This is the this is the end. It's the end. See ya. Uh, well, the all new nerds, the all new nerds drama. All new I can't nerds. wait for the, the drama know, dude, channels. The did thumbnails. All... What happened to the all new nerds? The Is all, all new nerds, nerds canceled? Did Kathleen Kennedy <laughs> shut down all new nerds? Brie Larson <laughs> killed Levi Bond. <laughs> John Cheadle recast. She probably as could all, if she really all wanted nerds to. Crew. I don't know. Probably. Brie Larson could beat me up, and I'd let her. All right, let's talk about the bad guys <laughs> or something. <laughs> um okay bad batch oh i think that's cool. the name of this podcast i was <laughs> thinking <laughs> you could that, could be, that could be a I killer could title beat me up and i'd let her you guys can beat me up and i'd let it that would get some clicks man should... it would do brie larson I, I still or Mar- no, no. with that with those click uh click let's cut up the middleman and just make it brie larson beat me up bruised a bruised bruised dill i think like a bruised <laughs> fake bruce <laughs> dylan with the jonathan reaction like on the other half. Dylan, the oh, we have, wait, Dylan, we got to talk about that. We have like, the you have a collection because Dylan does the thumbnails, everybody. I don't know if you guys know that. It's not me. Well, sometimes I do them, but. Yeah, the bad like, master. Dylan master. If, the if, if you don't like the thumbnail, it wasn't me. <laughs> the bad ones. Yeah. Yeah. Dylan has a gallery of my reaction faces. So. 
Uh, I started deleting yeah. them at first, but then I was like, yeah, I can maybe I can use these. Make some. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, like, it's, like an emoji, it's like an emoji pack at this. At this Not part. only do I have them, I have them all like, cl- like cropped out. So I could like really make <laughs> like, like an face. army of. Uh, yeah, we should. Oh, yeah, make them an emoji pack for all the nerds. Just my reaction face. Oh my god, <laughs> that, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, 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 I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, a serious, yeah, in a, a, small, a serious, uh, serious, right serious, serious question, serious question. Yeah. So that it's Brie Larson, unironically, has been the talk of the town, whether it be for controversy or what she's going to be appearing in. You know, she's pretty big in Marvel, uh, yeah. and there's a lot of, you know, in the drama side of the Star Wars fandom. It's there's a lot of saying like she's going to be cast in X, Y, or Z. But, like, what do we think of the, what, what, who do you think Brie Larson, because Brie Larson has shown interest in being in Star Wars. Yeah. Star do, Wars yeah, yeah. do we think that she could be in Star Wars? And who do you think she Anyone could be? can be in Star Wars. That's the, like, yeah. here's the thing. Like, I, I'm not a big Captain Marvel fan. I think she's a fine actress. I would like to see her in uh, Star Wars. Honestly, I feel like she could play kind of a cool character. I don't think they're going to cast her as stronger than Darth Vader, female Jedi. No, that, Sith. Yeah, that's like what? And they wouldn't do no, that, that with any actor. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. I, what kind of character could she play? I could see her in the Jedi role. I really think she could be like she could play the strong Jedi character role. I think she'd similar to Captain Marvel. I think she could play it well. I think. uh yeah, I mean, and on on Captain Marvel, I like Captain Marvel more in her uh, her own movie. I think the in, the Infinity War and uh, Endgame. Endgame Captain Marvel was a little weaker. But yeah, it feels I, like they kind of threw her in there, didn't it? I mean, also like you know, they didn't they had significantly less time to flush her out, obviously. But I, I like I like her I like her her performance in Captain Marvel well enough. Yeah. But anyway, I think that she could play a great Avar Chris, who is sort of this a new character in the new star wars high republic book line and okay. she is she is sort of a a marshal of the of a region of the outer rim and so I, I don't think she'd be stronger than darth vader but she is a jedi <laughs> of jedi of high stature and really? i and i think that uh well, sort of a he, she, darth vader wouldn't even be around no this, this would be republic. this would be 200 years before yeah right. uh darth vader's it was born so yeah and I think, and I think that'd be a, a cool place for her. So then people wouldn't complain that she's like ruining the original trilogy. Right. Put her in she'd like be the, so disconnected. Yeah. It'd unless be so dis- it's yeah. yeah. I think I think that could work. And I think yeah, eventually, well, honestly, uh, not to go too far here, but I think the most realistic possibility is she voices that character in like an animated show. If we're being like really realistic, I think we're gonna get a High Republic animated show. Which you do, yeah. I, that's so you, you think they'll kind of try her out a little bit? And yeah, then, and I and I, yeah. and I think that that'll be that'll be more palatable to the people who really don't like her. Um, yeah, she's just voicing a character instead of like. Actually- well, no, I mean we have. I mean, I, I'm literally. That's why I'm looking down. I was I was messing with this, but like, um, Katie Sakov. I mean, like she she transferred over from animation to live action perfectly. So, I well, think, it's re- um, it, it's really I interesting. Think Disney seems to be interested in doing that. Yeah, it's inter- I mean, look at Cameron Monaghan. I think that's his name who played Cal. Uh, or- yeah, Monaghan, Cal, Monaghan, I believe. Ma- Monaghan. Yeah, Monaghan. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, or the, I I don't remember her name, but the woman that played Odd Inversio, like they are the uh, characters. Janina, of- Janina Gavankar. Thank you, yeah. And they are Thank they you. are basically like casted like that and it look their characters are them. So maybe down the yeah. line, they can make a live action thing. There's some rumors. Ru- there's some rumors some, about Aiden. Yes, yeah, so there's some pretty substantial yeah. rumors. Well, okay, I, I know. I know what I know what you're talking about, John. Yeah. But what I'm. Okay. I know you probably know more. What but... I'm giving to our viewers here is so on all the so in Battlefront Two, Genia Genia Gavankar played yeah Aiden Versio, who was the leader yeah. of Inferno Squad, which was a team of like elite Imperial troopers. But most mm-hmm. of all the acting work done in that game was in motion capture. Yeah. And yeah. all of the actors on that team have all been in LA Join in together, motion capture yep. together motion capture. Yep. talking about working together again on something. So that was, I that think, was the reason we started about, we did a battlefront three video. That was okay. the reason. We yeah. Did I, I, I yeah. think that there's, is, there's more than likely that we'll be getting some sort of inferno. I think squad it's a game. Content. Well, there's also, I didn't is also, well, no, she's dead. So she couldn't be in Rangers, but there is no, no, some... she could, she dies. She dies she could, yeah. around episode seven is when. Yeah. Oh, does she? Yeah, that that um oh. that extra DLC is is closer to Force Awakens. Yeah. Huh. Really? 
Yeah. yeah. God, I'm, I haven't played. I mean, I played. Yeah, because she's once, much older. Because like, she stuff. has like, doesn't she have gray hair in it? I'm trying to think. She does. Yeah. But you, see, you're, you're you see, you're, you're on a star destroyer that's on its way to Star Killer Base. And yeah. When you get yeah. There, it's already exploded because you see right. it. Sh- oh, okay. Shoot All right. So she game. totally could be in Rangers, and she might. I didn't. Play, I didn't play the DLC, so I have to be. I would, I, I'd like to see her. I mean, that was a quick rumor that kind of came and went, but I feel like it can still. It came and went, yeah. but I think it's honestly the most, it's pretty, I feel like, substantial. Like It has, it right. makes sense. Well, the whole thing with Star Wars games, I mean, Luke, Lucasfilm, it's, the title's called Lucasfilm Games now, right? Isn't it? Yeah, Lucasfilm. Yeah. Am I right about that? Yeah, okay. I believe, yeah. yeah, I mean, there's there's so many games coming, which I'm so excited. We, are, we already know about, you know, Night Seal Republic. I mean, Delta Squad just got re-released. I mean, I guess, I don't know if you'd call it Lucasfilm Games, but they Republic kind of Commando. Yeah. Republic Commando, yeah. That's what I mean. oh, the, the squad, yeah. I, yeah. Um, Actually, I have not got, I might get that i haven't played the i didn't play the original when it, like well when it first came out but... <laughs> the, the original as if there is a sequel so, <laughs> yeah no i know i meant i meant the original i have a version. switch and they re-released on that so maybe i should yeah, switch put and, my hands on it i've pretty, heard it's actually a great game it's a pretty short game i played it short a, yeah short years back. it's okay. compare if you're like a gamer today compared to today's shooters it's pretty sparse but yeah. like it's it's a fun how many star, hours do you think it is star got... wars romp like five or six total. It's not that's that fun for me, man. I got too much shit to do to play yeah. a, like 13, <laughs> 14 hour game right now. Whoa, sorry, so, YouTube. That was that he said he said shite. Whoa, not, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, we don't get paid yet, so it doesn't matter. Well, oh, we're gonna don't tell them. We're that. gonna bleep that out. We're gonna bleep that out. I'm gonna use like yeah. a rubble alarm sound and bleep that out. Yeah, it's a it's a good and, and I think that there there's so there is that rumor about there being a remake of Knights of the Old Republic, like merging the first yeah. two games to adapt it to canon. Yep. Um, but the only like really substantial thing we know is coming is the massive Ubisoft open world yeah. game, yes, which yep. is made that by the I... people who made God, the I Vision. forgot all about that. Yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts but, on that? What do you think that's gonna be about? Um quite honestly, I'm... I I I assume we're sorry to interrupt. I just started thinking about this. I, I assume we'll get some news on at least a couple of games for me. Well, E3 is coming up. So and it is oh it's same with May fourth yeah. and May the fourth yeah yeah. And yeah. If, yeah so sorry go ahead Levi well I'm uh a little bit hesitant on that game because the developer a massive made the previous the previous games they made were the two division games yeah and those yeah. are open world like MMO style shooters mm-hmm. third person shooters and but it's using the Snowdrop engine which that could be beautiful in Star Wars but the style of game I'm not sure if I'm as attracted to it an mmo kind of thing i'm more i'd rather an open world single player experience same yeah more like yeah. Fallen Order a little bit yeah more akin to something yeah like but like Order. like full open world maybe yeah like, i don't yeah, that's I don't. what i'm confused about because how what is what do you mean by open world because obviously i mean like are they gonna stay they're not gonna stay on one planet necessarily i, don't, I mean I think it's well it could it, it may be that because the way the you, division may, was, oh, was like that, the yeah. first division was like a good chunk of new york city realized in a map and right the second yeah, one yeah, was, yeah. was the washington like Washington DC area. And so I think if they did it and they're like, especially they're in the words of Obi-Wan, their speciality uh, is developing like urban environments. And so I think right. they'd, they'd be developing like a region of Coruscant or something like that. That'd be that, that, Coruscant, I'd be like something, something akin to like 13, yeah, 13. Lord. Urban yeah. developments are a speciality. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, also that, and I'm hyped for the, uh, Skywalker Saga Lego game, man. We got to play that on if stream. It comes out. If yeah, it ever right. comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, it got it, delayed it comes, indefinitely. Uh, but I mean, they're, I feel like they're too far into development. I hope to scrap it. But I don't know I how. They're not going scra- to scrap it. How God they... damn it. They teased me with Yaddle. I want to play as Yaddle. No, they I know like, the Yaddle That was a thing. nice shot of like, they knew what they were doing. Think she was on um, Kashyyyk, right? It was, yeah, I yeah, want to know, how did they think this was going to be released last year? Because that was the original release date. Yeah, I thought it was going to be released like, what was it? Like spring of last year? Or... Spring yeah, of last yeah. year? Oh, I mean, yeah. Obviously, it's like, where was the game? Things, like, here's the thing. I'm fine with it if it means that the game's going to be better. Like, sure. I mean, I'm really not in that much of a rush to play it. But like, how does it go that bad? I get COVID and stuff, but like other games. I mean, look what, look what COVID did to like something like Cyberpunk. Hello. Yeah. It's true. I mean, yeah, trying, to, I trying, to, trying, to, yeah. Cyberpunk. Oh trying to develop I, anything I over, you know, Zoom. I can't imagine. We're not, yeah. you know, I don't think, I, as far as I know, we're not game developers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. And I like the trials and tribulations of making a huge, like, Lego game. Because this is their, GT Games hasn't made a game in, like, Nothing years, big. four yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. And they've been focusing everything on making like it's huge. Like this is this is like 
integrated space battles like where you're controlling yeah. the ship and like you can go from planet to planet and there's yeah. like it the map is tens mace, and tens mace of when running through map. coruscant yeah. is just something i need man yeah like, that, I just, oh. like i just can't imagine the like with all that how many content, characters there kind are of but there's like yeah, it's oh, like 800 yeah. characters 800 characters it's literally like it it's 800 characters, I think, and 300 unique playable ones alone. Yeah. And it's like, I can't imagine the bugs that come with trying to make that. It's true. It's No, it is true. Yeah. yeah. I just hope the game is as good as it can be. Like, yeah. as long I give it, take as much time as you need, I suppose. Just make and, it. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather them wait than, you know, release it now and have it be, you know. 100%. If they garbage, deliver on what they've said, on what they've promised, then this could be, like, the best Star Wars game. Yeah, and like yeah. literally oh ever. God, man. I mean, yeah, like, even though it's Lego, but yeah, it's, it's yeah, every it. single everything. I mean, we people, everyone loves the complete saga, you know, and it's gonna be that times like a thousand, dude. It's yeah. gonna here's be some, everything. Here's some tea. Here's some. Here's some sleuthing. Go for that, it. That I've done is that. Well, so obviously, COVID has disrupted everything in the industry, but I don't think Bad Batch. This is this. Don't worry. I'll tie back to Legos. I don't mm-hmm. think that Bad Batch was supposed to release on May 4th this year. Because if, so. if you remember the marketing for Lego Skywalker, this is, or Legos, yeah, Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga has started and stopped like four times now. Mm-hmm. You know, distributors think they're ready for release. And so they start pushing out, yeah. you know, like, and so back in, you know, when it was first supposed to come out, especially when Mando was coming out too, there were like tie in Lego boxes. Right with like codes yeah, and stuff. Yeah, for the I do game. remember that. Yeah, and one yeah, of the, the one, and one of yeah, the main codes, DLCs, yeah. like one of the main codes, was for stuff from the Bad Batch. It was for the Bad Batch shuttle. Right? Facts, true, for true, the, true. The Bad Batch shuttle, which it, it has a name. Uh, is it like the triangle one? Is that it the... Is the triangle one? It has so, a name. Yeah, the one I, that you I saw, saw on the trailer. A, that one looks on like a... the Tython uh, ships a little bit in like a very. A little, weird... It's not. It's definitely not related, but it's just. It looks like to me like a Jedi shuttle mixed with the shuttle that Palpatine uses in the end yeah. of Revenge of the Sith. Sure, yeah. I think it's a, yeah. that's a Zeta class, maybe yeah. something like yep. that. But uh, anyway, Palpatine's yes. Anyway, my uh, point being that well, one that that shuttle has a name I can't remember. It. I saw it on like a match. Oh, look it up. But but I think that Bad Batch was supposed to come out like it was going to be Clone Wars in like May the fourth this past year, and then it was we were they're going to be like, and here's Bad Batch coming out. Later this summer, this is yeah, obviously and it was going to be crazy. This yeah. is obviously without COVID coming out, and it was going to be Bad Batch, then into into Mando COVID coming out. Well, yeah. COVID coming out. It's just what it's, it's just like, and then, and then the COVID expansion hit, and then yeah, the COVID, <laughs> the COVID DLC off. Yeah, we, I didn't. Oh, I, it was not not it. cool. The devs, man. The devs. It's called it's called the yeah, havoc. Too many Marauder. bugs. The it's havoc the Marauder. Marauder. Yes, that Marauder, is. What it's yeah. yeah, that sounds. Yeah. I don't want to cut you off, but me and Johnny saw some real simulation shit today. Oh um, no! Yeah, we were driving home from we were getting chicken sandwiches from this dope place near us and it, it's really good and we're driving home it was good. and it was we good. were stopped at a red light and this woman has a target bag just on her head like just balancing on her head she's balancing it perfectly and she's just walking straight down the side the closest target is like 10 miles out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like on and a highway like me and johnny just looked at each other you think she was gonna was stop just like, and just go kenobi <laughs> like i was, was- she was looking, was like, she was looking for Obi-Wan in the desert. Yeah. yeah, right. I was ready to lock my doors, but she had a mission or something. She was just walking straight and just like cool. so bad. I don't yeah, I, I, I respect it, though. I respect the it, though. It was no, I did, too. A part of me was like, I kind of want to invite her in and see see what kind of crazy <laughs> shit she's been through. Yeah, invite her I, in the car? What do you mean? <laughs> invite her on the, get her, let's get her on the podcast. She can yeah, her on the podcast. Damn, we should have got a contact. Yeah, maybe she had some Lego sets in there. Or it's like some yeah, Black Series. If she was at, if she was at Target, series? maybe she got the newest Black Series. Probably. Yeah, maybe she, maybe she the got the Mando helmet. Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, yeah. She got the Mando helmet. The Mando. Yeah, that's, that's interesting because I also had a strange like NPC-like interaction the other day where I was <laughs> I was outside. It was, this, was, this was at like seven or eight and i was eating a falafel on a bench and this guy came up oh, to me bench. and we, we just had the most like bizarre conversation of all time like it ended with like it was like a side quest like one of those side quests you get in an open world <laughs> game like when you're traveling yeah, yeah. from point to point and it's just like all dialogue based and i sat there for like 30 minutes talking about how like beverly hills isn't like by la and but it is right like it's part of la and i'm like what it was like some yeah, sort of right? trick question he was like you know where <laughs> this stuff riddle. is yeah it was like it, <laughs> Beverly Hills. I'm like, but isn't that by LA? He's like, nah, man, that's by Mexico. I'm like, what's happening? 
this guy is like, a... I'm like, is this a riddle? And then it ended Wait. with he's like, he's like, I'll see you in a hundred years. And I was like, what? He said he what? should go hang out with Target that lady, like, man. I, they like, can, I, would, I would sit down for their conversation. I was like, man, dude, I don't know what's going on. Like, yeah, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Oh, That's man. oh, dude, the world is weird, man. <laughs> it's like, I mean, we're just sitting here talking about Star Wars, but like some crazy people out there, dude. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, anyways, <laughs> it is um, it's bizarre. It is bizarre. Yeah. Um, where did where, why did we where did this come from? Where did we? I, I just I, is... I just I just couldn't let it go because I just I'm started about, thinking about the, the woman remember. with the target bag on her head. Talk about and, nerds. Yeah. Yeah. Nerds. I don't know. In my head, I'm just thinking about I'm thinking we're... about geode right now. That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, you're, you're thinking. Oh a yeah, lot we've about had geode. a geode conversation. I read, I read another con. I read another converse or I read another chapter of Into the Dark last week. Oh yeah. yeah, how's Gio he's, doing? He's doing. He's doing. Yeah, what's he, yeah, what's he doing? What's he doing? He's, he's 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 on the bridge. He's watching the ship. <laughs> the just, just a rock. Dude. That's what he's, he's doing. Like, he's chilling out, man. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Geode's yeah, crazy. I think I don't want to get into too much, I but people Geode definitely jump here. the gun on the geode hate because it's like they know that it's dumb. Like it's yeah, not yeah. like it was. So in the context of the chapter I read last night, there's a there's sort of a situation breaking out on a on a space station where a bunch of different people had to land on the space station and they're all against each other, but they have to survive together on this space station. And hmm. this Jedi master is like meditating, trying to think about where everyone is. And like the last one is like, and Geode is somehow watching the bridge. It's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, where's and Geode's where it's like, huh? Yeah. It's funny. Like, it's just like, it's just a, no, I, I, do they I talk like to Geode? Like, is it like a, only, talk? only, only like one character talks to Geode and they all think he's crazy. You see, okay, the way that that makes sense. The way that Twitter would have had me believe it is that Geode was this sentient was a rock Jedi. creature. Yeah, was that, a can, Jedi. that can his rocks can move his arms and his legs as rocks. Oh, and like Geo dude from a, Pokemon. Just, yeah, 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 a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Dude's like and, Machamp. Right, I'm fine with Geode as long as he doesn't pull out like a purple lightsaber and start going. I don't think. I don't think Geode can. He doesn't have arms. He doesn't have arms. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, right. Slab, but like a stone, yeah. he's a rock. Yeah. But from what I've heard though, because I'm not done the. That, right. That there yeah, is Dylan a, and I have not. That there is a payoff. There is a, there is a payoff to the joke. And it is, I don't, it's I've coming. Heard, I've, it's I've heard oh, for thing. Geode? Yeah, for Geode. Oh. The punchline's coming. Punch I, think, um, <laughs> I think so the punchline has something to do with a dance club on Coruscant. I'm not even joking. Okay. So okay. you've been a big fan of the High Republic books, right? Uh, like well, I, at doing... least I am a big fan of Light of the Jedi, the one that I have. Light of the Jedi? Yeah. Oh, the oh okay. Main, the main book by the Charles, one they kicked everything off with right? yes by charles yeah. soul who is a he started his first star wars thing i believe was the anakin and obi-wan comic which was a yep. mini series and then he jumped to the poe dameron uh continuing series which ran for about 32 issues then he jumped from there mm-hmm. to vader which very popular that you know you know star wars theory famously did his full like two hour read through of that like yeah. visual motion thing that video has like Five million views. It's a cool video. It's a really cool video. That's a very, very, very popular comic series. And then from there, yeah. uh, he wrote the Rise of Kylo Ren, which is a pretty integral part. Uh, whether you, uh, unfortunately, maybe should have, some of the stuff should have been in the movies, but an integral part to the sequel timeline of the, the newer stuff. So he wrote that. That's a, that's a mini series. Yeah, that was good. something and then, if you want to read. One. And then he yeah, jumped from there into writing a novel, which is like yeah. Jedi. From what I saw about Rise of Kylo Ren, there's some awesome stuff in there. Yeah. I mean, it we is. did a, a great we did a whole video yeah. on Luke before he even appeared in the Mandalorian. Like, I think like right after the Ahsoka video, and it was yeah. like how Luke could show up. And basically, we had to go over his history. And I mean, if you watched it back, you might be like, "Well, no," because we might have got some stuff wrong. No one knew, but um, but yeah, we I definitely had to look a lot into like the rise of Kylo yeah. Ren and stuff. Yeah. And there's some awesome stuff in there. Yeah. However, I most mean, of most of that though does take place long after his appearance in the Mandalorian. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. right. Like wait, most of the stuff- wait. Then what was the what was the thing for? Why did we have to cover? I'm not sure. Quite frankly, I'm remember. not. I'm not sure. Oh, that- I, I wasn't involved with the channel then, guys. I don't <laughs> know what these. What no, I know. It, you know, it definitely. I forget. I don't. It think was some video. Too much. Most of the okay, oh, most of the cause... Luke content that we have for post Endor pre Mandalorian is him in Battlefront Two, yeah. and then yeah. Shattered Empire, the comic. 
Right. And then, and then a few. I think we might have referenced that. I don't think we. I don't think we went. I don't. Re- I, I. I'll have to go back and watch it and make sure. The Battlefront Two. Yeah. The Battlefront Two thing. Yeah. I don't think so. Luke, what Luke's doing after, after Return of the Jedi is so he's sort of much like Ahsoka. He has sort of redefined what it means to be a Jedi. Yeah. He, he's this new thing, but he, he's only been a Jedi, you know, quote unquote, because he was told he was a, like he could be a Jedi by oh, by Ben Kenobi, and then Ben died, and then yeah. Yoda for a bit. So he doesn't really know what it means. Like he is this. He feels that he's this thing, but like, what does it really mean to be a Jedi? Like he talks to these two old guys that were in his life a little bit, but he needs to figure that out for himself. So his yeah. time spent after Endor is like scouring the galaxy looking for artifacts, which is hard yeah. to see and, in yeah. in um and Battlefront. Battlefront of like yeah. he he wants to try to figure out what the Force means and like how to understand it before he can start yeah. teaching. And so in that mm-hmm. early time, he's just sort of exploring, uh, trying to figure stuff out. And also, right. I mean, at, at some point, uh, it'd actually be after Probably. Mandalorian, but when he, he's with Lando when he's hunting down Ochi yeah. and Yeah, yeah. I think, I think I think when he's looking for artifacts, he somehow crosses paths with Ochi. And then, who is, by the way, a hilarious character in the new Vader comics. Like, they have made him, like, people because people make fun of that that plot line. Like, how did, how did this happen? That right, dude yeah. is like a bumbling assassin man is so funny he's a he's a a very funny character yeah i i want to see like the lando and luke uh adventures great it doesn't it does isn't that such a like it's it's very like loosely talked about in the rise of skywalker and it's like yeah me and luke did this and this but it's like oh man i want to see that That cool yeah yeah i I mean i want a luke show i mean luke show whatever everyone wants everyone under the sun wants a luke show man yeah yeah I don't care what timeline it is. Just, I mean, it, well, I, I, I there's only really? one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I don't. I don't want pre a new hope. No, I think you mean like eras, <laughs> like you know, like what kind of yeah right, time what, period. What closer it is? Yeah. Yeah. I would like to see him yeah, training I, the new Jedi, and like see what he's doing with Grogu, which we'll get. So, I mean, if we see Grogu again, we it's likely we see Luke. Yeah. There's about yeah. As far yeah. as I know, there's about 14 years because he starts the temple. <clears throat> excuse me. Is because his first student is he starts it when Ben comes of age or when he right. he's more of age, which is around I think we're around Ben's mm-hmm. ten, and mm-hmm. so from there to about is four Grogu or five years. Second ago. student? No, Grogu is his no, first Grogu, technically. Right, I, well, I'll, I'll get to besides that. Besides Ben, sure, I'll, I'll get to that. But he starts like his so. academy then, but then yeah, there's a solid fourteen years, so almost two and a half or a, half, a decade and a half of him training, being you know Luke Skywalker Jedi Master for those of you who yeah. don't like where he went in the last jedi like that, that exists in the timeline like he is a, he was a jedi master yeah and he, that did all that stuff did happen the way right people when people put him on that pedestal in their mind like that luke existed in 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 the canon um but yeah i think grogu like luke is not going to turn down the like grogu put something out in the force luke isn't going to just deny this kid right. help like he starts the academy for ben and like because yeah. Ben comes of age, it's like okay, now is my time to do this for like the wider galaxy. But I don't think that. I think that he's just gonna take care of Grogu and sort of as like a foster kind of parent, and then eventually mm. give him back to Din, or trying to find, you know, the rest of Yoda's species. I don't think that because Luke would have. Do you think? To, do you think he was there when the? You don't think he's gonna give him any training like, though. I think he's gonna give him some training. No, yeah, I think he'll train. I just, yeah, I just yeah, don't yeah. think that. I don't think it's gonna be like I'm starting my school. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, wait. You don't think he'll like when when they open like the you know the quote unquote Skywalker Academy, like the the Skywalker Academy, like the temple. You don't think that Grogu will be? No, a I think there. Grogu will be, which should be back by Din by then. He'll be so, back yeah, with okay. Din. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude, what I, what I always thought was really interesting, and which kind of does help with Luke in the Last Jedi, is how Ahsoka turns down the opportunity to train him because she's seen what could happen, especially when because Grogu is so attached. But Luke is like, yeah, I mean, I'll take him. Like, I'll see what I can do with him, you know? Like, he he clearly sees that Grogu is attached to Din. But he's like, no, I can I can do it. I'm Luke Skywalker, well, because, you know? Because Luke has, has had the life experience of his attachment to his father. Is Precisely, yeah. Him. right. Whereas Ahsoka is still living in a world where she thinks that Anakin and Vader and Vader died. You know, so she bad. doesn't know that Vader, she, yeah. She, she doesn't, know that, she doesn't know that he got redeemed. Because if she did, she'd just call up Luke, you know? Like yeah, she that's just... why that's why I want to see a scene or something with Ahsoka and Luke in a scene because that, we that emotional weight with that. I it's interesting. That is it's like interesting how they don't 
besides Obi-Wan and Vader meeting again or something like that along those lines, that's probably the second thing. Do I you think she say. knows like, about I... Luke at that point? Or anything that he even I think interests. she knows she knows yeah. I think she knows about him or has heard yeah. of him, but she's the, the world the world does. It, they they do and they don't, I mean, right? It's right. still it's still like thinking you have, it's hard to contextualize sometimes how large the Star Wars galaxy is. Like there's still people there's still people during when the Jedi exist that don't know what the force is. You know, on yeah. the outer rim, they're like, which is hard to wrap wrap your mind around sometimes. It's, it's just like it's the just, Jedi were so big. It's just, but that's how big the. Well, I mean, when you think about it, the Jedi at their peak, depending on who you say, George sometimes says hundred thousand. In right. the in the in the universe of the movies, sometimes it said ten thousand. But mm-hmm. either way, ten thousand or a hundred thousand out of like trillions of people, quadrillions of individuals, that, many, yeah. that is yeah. not that many. No. And, yeah, like, I've always found it interesting that Han Solo. I guess he never says that he doesn't believe in Jedi, but like I don't know, he clearly has some kind of disdain towards. Well, he the force. thinks. Well, he thinks he says I don't believe in any hokey religions. It's all like tricks, or what does he say? He says like it's all simple tricks and nonsense. So I think right, he, yeah, he like he's heard of them, but he's just like yeah, that's exactly. Just BS. It's like it's mystical to him. It's like a it's fantasy almost. Yeah, which which is I, pretty it, cool, like contextually, like to the world of Star Wars. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a lot of. It, it, obviously, Star Wars t- draws upon tons of mythology, and oh, so yeah. I think I think in that sense, it, it, I'm literally writing a. I was writing a paper a week ago about that, so that's funny. What has Star Wars <laughs> grabs sorry. from mythology? Yeah, it, just like, like yeah, yeah. mythos. Yeah, yeah how the, yeah. the mythos. Yeah, but anyway, and it, sorry, it makes it, it's, it's stronger it. for it. But yeah, I, I just think it's 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 meant to represent sort of the person in, in this case. I I, draw, I would draw the parallel to like something in. Not, not I. I am not personally religious, but something in like someone who didn't believe in Jesus, like that he was a messiah or whatever. But in the context right. of Star Wars, it's more more like to represent that like someone who doesn't believe that there is good left, or some someone that doesn't just believe that you. Yeah, these it never can, bothered me that like. Then it never bothered me where it was like you know when people didn't or certain people didn't know about the Jedi just because I mean just because like how big the universe is just going back i mean you also just got to believe that the empire shut it down like they that like too, really yeah. propagandized right. and like i mean it, it, can it was the jedi purge. purge yeah right yeah. exactly but it, but it, it can be hard to wrap your head around because the jedi did exist in a lot of these people's lives at one point like especially people that lived on core planets like coruscant right. coruscant won't probably one of the biggest populations in <laughs> maybe not maybe not deep down though right facts yeah right exactly like with, I mean, yeah, Trace, Trace and Rava, Rava had a very specific situation where, like, they saw a Jedi, you know, but that doesn't happen with everyone, you know. Or take like, the they... Clone Wars episode when Plo Koon and Ahsoka go down when they're trying to figure out. Uh, what are they trying to figure out? I think it it's was... when. I, I believe it's Some... when. Um... Who died? Um... <laughs> Testing the Clone Wars uh-oh. knowledge. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. You, you're uh-oh. the one with the. Oh, oh, oh I remember. I remember. I, I remember. Okay. It's. It is. It is during the Mace Windu Boba Fett arc. And, yeah, yeah. And yeah, 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 Bo- yeah, yeah. And the guy, Boba. the bounty hunter yeah. Kestis, calls someone on the bar, and they overhear that conversation, and that's how they know they get to Hondo right. and Aura, and that's where. They get to well, oh, people, I, all... I got it. I got it, guys. <laughs> people also may believe in Jedi, but they may not believe that they have these the mystical powers. The mystical powers, know? and that's something right. we see. That's something we see in the High Republic. Um, in in that's in, cool. the, yeah. in this book because. Yeah, in the time of yeah, that. High Republic, there's like much more Jedi. And I think the Force is definitely so more like. I do, but... I do remember Cobb Vanth on Tatooine in his flashback. He's watching the like recording of the Death Star being the blown Death up, Star blowing and they up. do. Yeah. And Luke Skywalker's name is in the text, isn't it? Well, the text is like. Uh, unfortunately, that text is like recycled text from right. the game Star Wars Uprising, I believe. Interesting. Yes. Oh, really? It's and like you can't always trust the Arabush, Arabush, or however it's pronounced, Arabesh. right? Arabesh. Yeah. Arabesh. So it's and not you, like it's not that wasn't written. 100%. That wasn't written for. They unfortunately they lifted that. Like that whole seeing the Death Star blowing up was something they had created for another prop. Oh, for that game, really? Yeah. That's kind of that's huh. cool though. That, they that game. That. that game was all right. The game was, yeah, the game was cool. But like yeah, I don't know. Right like some, a lot of times that that's just like put in for Easter eggs for like people to translate in their breakdown videos. And Sometimes stuff. it's real though. Sometimes it's legit. But yeah, for for real. For real. a lot of times in Mando too, like everything on his dash and like the planets he's going around and stuff. All, like you yeah, can you can get a lot of information from all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people were making map breakdown videos of where Tython was for like a week. Yeah, back. oh my yeah. god. Oh, and they're like, that. it's yeah, right by Tython. Camino. It's right by Camino. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was yes. really, 
yeah i know we, a... i mean i was pretty sold we were going to camino i still think we made we a could. yeah we made a yeah. video where like i am well yeah i mean i love camino and i wanted to, i i thought the finale was going to be it's, on camino it's, at one it's point. jonathan's favorite planet everybody. i My thought that video planet, was about to go uh, so hard and then it got like 20 i said views. only a million times no, Camino does go hard, and I do want to visit it again in live Dude, action. Camino goes hard is my favorite song. Like, I love Camino it. goes hard. <laughs> Dude, oh, we gotta write gosh. that song. Oh, that's let's, gotta. Let's write that song. Dude, by Tonwi Ton and the Fets, man, it's a great group. <laughs> like, it's a, that's it's such a good song. Uh, good stuff. Jedi rocks. Jedi rocks. Dude, oh, you know man. what? I, I see. Growing up, I, I, I personally, I do enjoy. Uh, uh, what I don't know. I, I think Lo- I think I think Lofty Neck is is the better song. The original yeah, song. yeah, yeah. But growing up, Jedi I, I Rocks never, does kind of. I mean, like I don't I know. Never I never had a What I grew up with, it like, it destroys the hard. pacing of this. Of it does like the movie, scene. but just the song bam, itself. Bam, like, bam, like, bam, <laughs> and it's like, oh, uh, it's like okay. I can get. I know George at the time, and still probably is. Is very like this was the original vision, but you cannot tell me that Jedi Rocks was the original vision. Yeah, dude. George was one of the Jedi during his divorce and his depression. He was like, he was writing the song. Jedi Rocks. Tell me, Boba Fett just tilted the background like this, just like yeah. This is my know. He's jamming out to it. Like Jedi Rocks itself may not be good, but we do get a lot of like insert shots that are like iconic, like the like the Boba Fett doing the. The chin, the chin thing, that? The, the, <laughs> and then the, the big yeah. when we get when we get like in, inside, guy. like yeah, yeah. When we get like down, like, those on, shots like, are what, good. What's the thing? What's the singer's name? Um, that, I'm not. I don't want to talk about that. That's not. That's not. The guy with like the, the, the camera shot where he's like going a, to the camera. I know what you're out. talking about, yeah. Jonathan. I'm refusing to discuss it because <laughs> okay. that is not. That is okay. not a good insert shot. Bad. <laughs> funny. I'll I tell you. Funny. I'm a big Max Rebo fan. I wish I could see him alive. Who isn't? Who isn't? Yeah. Max Rebo is the best. I have a big problem with Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy. They made Max Rebo a a freaking freak. Have you seen what that species looks like now? What, what are you talking about? And what? So what are you referencing? In old legends, mm-hmm. he's playing with his hands and he has feet. Now, the, that species has n- no arms and that's just feet and so it's like this weird egg oh, oh <laughs> you're right weird well, egg i'm looking at i'm looking at all like the collectibles and stuff and they and they have arms and legs but yeah i know yeah. they changed it they changed it in canon oh, where max rebo right. is now this that? max all right. there's, there's so many max rebo things I what the hell i need to get becoming a multi-billionaire and i'm buying disney egg i'm buying creature. lucas film to change that back dylan i want you to look up and see it i want you to all right what, what am i looking at just look up i don't know max rebo Max Rebo. Dude, there's, oh my god. I, I got right. a Max what, Rebo. What am I trying to find? What am I looking at? So what's the problem? I, I I made a joke when you were actually explaining it and I didn't uh, catch what the problem is. <laughs> Classic okay. Dylan. So jokester. So Max Rebo, right? He is he is an an Ortolan. So mm-hmm. Ortolan, yep. That's the species. Or and now or, Look at look at what an Ortolan looks like. You can screen share if you want too. Yes, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, you want to show? They used to have arms and legs. These days, I gotta I see it that. before. I, I want the Lego picture. figure all, so all bad. All I can, all, I know the Lego dude. All I can see is um. Oh no! Wait, here it is. It's it's a whole thing. There's so many articles I'm looking at about the strange yeah, story of I'm Max looking, Rebo's no. arms. That would be a fun addition to my collection if I had a Max Rebo Lego figure, man. There's not a that I have a Lego too. collection. Yeah, I, no, I, I'm not I, a big pop guy. I put it in the I put it in the general. If you didn't know, I like collecting, so I or Dylan does too. Dylan Look well, how they massacred my boy. Look who they massacred oh, my boy. No. Wait, it's, why do that though? Why do wait? But why do that? Yeah. Wait, why? but he does have arms, so. No, that, no, it's confusing. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a whole. Man, this is gonna ask a tangent. There is so essentially, I think there were some figures, models made, where he doesn't have arms, and there's some toys, and in in certain comics, can in canon comics, he doesn't. There, are, his species doesn't have arms, but also in certain canon things, the species does have arms. It's a whole. But I was he like, does. I don't know. Yeah, see that. Kind I, I don't, in the movies, I don't, he has arms. I don't know if I don't he does. Like that, though. I, don't I mean, like that. I, I mean, objectively, he has, he has arms playing piano. 
but it's his those feet. Are, those Dylan. are his feet. Now, now it's his they're feet, saying it, Dylan. It's, it's their feet, Dylan. I really don't know. I think this is a bizarre, like George Lucas thing that he said. Both I don't ways, like, wait. Lucas that, didn't do that. No, I think I think this. I think the origin of this is there are some models made. There were some like busts made where he doesn't have arms and it's just oh. feet. Because I think it's like different artist interpretations of the character. Oh, just, I see. How has, do you, how how is an artist inter- if they take off the <laughs> if take off the arms? Like what? Look, artists there are, are so many videos about mystery Max Rebo. Like, oh god, it's so, Max Rebo. it's so funny. Look what Kathleen Turner Oh my Kennedy god! Is, man. And no then she way. goes ahead and changes the uh, Tanta V. Fucking Revenge of the Sith. It's the Tant of Three now. It's not the it's not the one in um Oh here a no, look, a, Okay, okay viewers. Here's a this is uh this is on StarWars.com from February twentieth, twenty thirteen from Pablo Hidalgo. Controversial. Um mm, the, this yeah. is the, yeah, increase the increase the view count right there. This is the yeah, hashtag <laughs> Pablo Hidalgo oh, apologize. Right, so I can apologize. Put that- I can Brie Larson punches. Brie Larson beats up Pablo Hidalgo. Don't, no, just listen. Just listen Phantom, names. Brie Larson. Phantom Menace Kennedy. win. Pablo okay. Hidalgo. Yeah. Okay, viewers. Okay, viewers. Here we go. Okay, viewers. Not since Lafty Neck will Max Rebo fans have their worlds rocked this hard. A few months back, Ace Illustrator Brandon Bird reached out to me via the magic of the internet to back up his contention concerning Max Rebo about something most people don't know about about the ele- elephantine keyboardist. Referencing an online article about the action figure incarnation of Max, Brandon insisted that Max was never supposed to have legs. And you know what? He's absolutely right. This diapered humanoid is, is how Kenner extrapolated the diaper? body. Diaper? Yeah, diaper. He diaper. Yeah, he wears a diaper. He wears a diaper. Yeah. Oh. That's, yeah. that's all George, baby. In the yeah. body of Max Rebo in this 1984 well, for the first toy. It was created with the assumption that he's sitting at the center of his keyboard. Since that time, the expanded universe has run with that idea and Max's humanoid legs. However, oh. the, the species in the Troy Denning's 1989's Galaxy Guide has two legs and two arms, but... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I sort of skipped ahead. But yeah, that was never the intention of the original designer. So the original model by Phil Tippett is just... This is, this is, what, I, this is what I was referring to when I said the original models were, uh, were different. So here's what... I oh, see it now. I'm huh, starting to see it from the movie. You yeah, can, just, you can, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I think obviously that's like an added thing. And oh, no, oh, yeah, this I'm is, certain. Is this this is the actual one they used? Right? Yeah, I can I can pull up production design from my. I mean, uh, if you just look up Max Rebo and you you consider those as no, legs, we can, and we then you can, look we can at throw, we can throw the pictures up. We can throw the pictures yeah. up. And, look at so. the picture I sent in Discord. That's the original them. model by by Phil. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, so there you we go. Spent a while there you go. Little his- Max oh. Rebo. Of Max, Rebo. Podcast, Max Rebo. Max Rebo talk. Did you want to know if he had arms and legs? Yeah, now you do. The, no other. I I was no even other aware podcast of this, so. in the galaxy. Are you so get hold on though. I retract my statement because I was doing a whole bit about how I hated Lucasfilm for doing this. I think this is this is a George's creation. This is an OG George. Yeah. Max Rebo is yeah. playing with his feet. So it's okay now that George okay did now. it. Yeah. It's all. I mean. It's, all gone. It's just I just well, I just had a picture in my head of what Max Rebo was, but then actually looking him up and then considering that those could be his legs, and then looking at it from a certain angle, it's like okay, I can kind of see it. It's truly a Machiavellian question. Like it's it's this is this is deep. This is he deep is not stuff. wearing a diaper though. If, if those are his legs, there is no diaper in view, and he because Dude, nothing's the, the diaper was added. I mean, release the diaper cut, man. Release the Rebo cut. <laughs> I want I want the Rebo diaper. I want to, I want to see Max Rebo Has- walking around. Hashtag release the this is this is good content cut. viewers. Aren't you enjoying watching this? This, this is pretty is, good stuff. This is this is great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. Just to um, clarify, because I know I am I am new on the channel. Uh yeah. I actually do I because just honestly to clarify for viewers, I actually am uh I, I am a fan of what has Star Wars has sort of become under oh. the Disney acquisition. I think it has done uh, great things for the brand, mostly because of how much we've been able to produce in such a short time. I think that is a, uh, just mm. a gift. I mean, you think that we're going to see Thrawn in live action in, mm. in like a main Agreed. role alone. It's and like a Kenobi series. No, I, Kenobi I, I, series and like all, all the stuff. We could have I never stand, have gotten this. Never would have thought we got No, No, I, I stand so by that selling the, selling the franchise to Disney was probably the best thing that could have happened to Star Wars. Yeah, I mean, well, you got to think about Lucas was, has been, was holding on to it for 
for you know, and what was he years. like it, it yeah he, he wasn't was really making Canada. anything well he yeah. was making clone wars but it was clone losing wars, a lot of yes. money because right. it cost so much and right. Right. He, right he made the decision that he had to he had to look out for the, all these people's jobs right because no knock company. on him because obviously i love clone wars but you know what no, i mean no 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 listen, yeah, listen yeah. to what i'm saying like yeah. he couldn't stake these all these people's livelihoods that he was right. responsible for on making this this thing that was costing the whole company money Mm-hmm. So, right. and that that and that combined with the fan backlash from the prequels, combined with just the general state of yeah. you know, he wanted to raise his family. He just had a daughter. He'd been, he he got remarried. Like there was a lot of things that, yeah. just I, which is I unfortunate because it was a passion project. Clone Wars. It was. He he like really loved the vision. Like that's what the prequels was supposed to be. Was these like the that's things, these, what... these are the things I think about in the shower. I'm like, what if? Would I trade everything? You, you I don't. Bought? You don't imagine yourself Camino when you're. I don't know. No, I don't know. Well, no here's Camino, in a perfect like, world. I, we could have perfect, all of it. In a, yeah, in a perfect world, George Lucas came on board on Disney, and yeah. everything was still fit into his vision. And I know. I mean, we don't got to get into it because some people are like, well, it still is. And there's a lot of different places you can grab. From I believe so. On both sides. At least fair enough. Part, parts sure. of it, at least. Yeah. I, I'd say parts of it. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I I just think that. I mean, yes, that is the ideal counterfactual. If George Lucas was given full control and all the resources Disney had to offer, although but it's not what happened. If I'm being real, I don't think that would have gone over well because people weren't exactly fans of George Lucas when the right. sold made. This is sort of the retroactive yeah. amnesia that everybody loves George. Mm. Like people, yeah, you're right. People you're right. hated George. I mean, like, he was kind of a laugh. Like people would laugh at him, man. Like the know, prequels it's, it's, didn't go over well. With it's, people. it's sad. And and even even people people were mad at Clone Wars at the time EU fans because Clone Wars would just tread all over what the EU had done, and right. Like, so I, I it's a it's a strange revisionist history that George was this like beloved figure the whole time. I mean like if he were then he would have never have sold and then he would have been able to make his movies. But he would have still been making money. And anyway anyway uh, the, the point the point I was making was the the trade off of if I could get like the full nine seasons of Clone Wars trading it for like all of the content i've gotten and like all the movies i've gotten like I don't know. yeah you gotta i don't take know, i don't i don't know what i would do i'm not even kidding like that's, that's tough right right well we wouldn't but, be uh, here doing this right now i, I can say that for sure um yeah. i do want to move on a little bit just i want to know like what you guys are most excited for from bad batch we talked a little bit about it on the jedi jive live stream but just like what's like two things that you like are so super excited to see and Dill Dill made a video about what he wants to see too so yeah, yeah. that's kind of, of most, wrong i mean i agree with but, okay. okay yeah there's some revisions that um, could be made ventress is not alive and i was dead. i yeah. was i did all right i did, i do research before every video apparently not enough because no, no, Jedi... I mean, Mike thought the same thing. So I guess, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, that's no, kind of I... where the confusion came from. But yeah. jokes aside, where, what do you guys want to, what do you guys <laughs> really want to see? Levi, you can go first. Oh, I was saying, John, you go ahead. Oh, please, John, go ahead. Okay. Um. All right. So let's see. I mean, like, this whole topic of like, I've, I mean, I've seen this topic like a lot being talked about recently. It's the whole thing of like Vader, Vader's inclusion in the show. I do think he's going to be in the show. Um, how much? I don't know. I mean, I know Levi would definitely Levi we've had conversations off the air about this before. But anyways, we'll continue that after I'm done with my point. Anyways, a big reason why I think this is, I mean, they made a whole Darth Vader model for the Clone Wars. And that's a, and that's a know, good point. They only spent, using they it spent one, money only, and time. Maybe. Right. Only using it once, it wouldn't really work. Like they're going to use it again, and it'd be a perfect opportunity to use it in this show. We already know Tarkin's in it, and you know. Vader's not too far behind Tarkin. I mean, we know that at this point. And then um, also Palpatine. I mean, we don't know if we're going to see Palpatine and Nessa in the flesh. I mean, we know there's like been holograms of the Senate meeting in the, in the even in the trailer. So again, we don't know how much his presence is going to be in the show. But again, he's on the poster. So just saying. But um, so I, I'm, I imagine we're going to maybe see um, some scenes with, with Palpatine and, and, and Vader. And maybe like, you know, I think we'll see their effects. I, I don't know. I'm trying to go with this, but like, the, I think we'll see their effects and as, as obstacles for the bad batch to kind of get over. And, you know, obviously they're going to be hunted down and stuff. And um, I think, I think we said this before, but Vader will kind of have like a role similar to like what he had in rogue one is basically what I'm saying. I think it'll be similar to that. So, yeah. 
my my a good point all around. And yeah, we did talk about it a lot on um, uh, the Jedi Jive uh, Falcon Winter Soldier episode five live stream yesterday. So go, go check that out. Yeah, check that, that out. Second yeah. half. Awesome. It was so much if, fun. If you're interested. But yeah. a lot of the stuff I'm going to talk about is way more like cosmetic background world building kind of stuff. So like the end of Revenge of the Sith, when you when the stormtroopers and I do mean stormtroopers because people get all up in arms about this. It's clones, but they're storm after Order sixty six. They're, they're stormtroopers. Storm yeah. They're storm. Yeah. They're, they're clone stormtroopers. I we can agree on that. Yes. Um, like when you when you have the clone stormtroopers, you got V wings. The Venators look different. They have they don't have the paint anymore. Yep. You have Imperial officers, recruits starting to come in. Like just seeing that on screen, which we see a little bit in the trailer. We see V wings flying. It'll be cool to see just the transition of clones, like clones into recruited conscripted stormtroopers. I'm really excited to see. It's clearly quick. It's like a quick, like they were ready for this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think, I think, I think it's going to be yeah. over the course of, I don't know, it's going to be quick relatively. I think it's over the course right. of like the first five, see, four, one, one to five years, which I know is a big range, but that they're phased right. out. Cause I think it's a, it's a phase out. Um, Cause obviously the purge troopers are the final batch of clones and they're used farther, like, like much later. Um, they're used up, yeah, at Lynn's least up until far- after a year. Well, Lynn's no, the fallen. one the ones in Fallen Order, they are those are just dudes. Oh, they oh okay, dudes. But the ones in the Vader comic are right. clones, and that's right. like with, I believe within that's almost a year after Revenge of the Sith, and so they're still clones being used all the way up to that point. Um, yeah, what? When, how does the book start? So I'm excited. I'm excited mm-hmm. to see. Well, actually, <laughs> it's interesting you say that. How does the book that you're talking about that volume the Vader. It, yeah, it, it had to get reprinted because there was actually a timeline inconsistency. Uh, um, blah, blah. Because one of the Larson, of, come on. God, that was, <laughs> okay, Dylan. That was John Favreau and Kathleen Kennedy back at it again, fighting over the Vader timeline. Comic. They put Vader. Brie Larson in the timeline co- in this Darth Vader comic. It's How outrageous. Could they do this? It's unfair. And she beats Darth Vader. She actually she beats but, becomes Darth Vader. It's, it's crazy. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop talking about what we were talking about. I cannot believe that, like, legitimately, videos were made that got, like, 100,000 views. I know. About, that was a, all Brie that Larson. we were talking like, about for a long like, time. Like, like freaking Tyrone Magnus, like, huge reactor channel, made a reaction to Brie Larson being power, more powerful than Darth, Darth Vader. Yeah. It's like, that's not happening. Wait, like, why do you th- Who, and like, Wait, where did it start, though? Mike Zero. Think- the source uh-huh. was Mike Zero, and then a bounding in the You're comics You're positive article. about that? I don't, I don't want to... A hundred percent. A hundred and ten percent. I don't know, because I know... I but know here's, the, here's the thing. They don't genuinely think that that's happening. They are ch- they are chasing the bag. <laughs> okay, yeah, but those the, the the people they're 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 pulling the strings, Dylan. They oh, I'm know, not saying it's the, okay. I'm just saying. all those viewers, all yeah. those viewers are like, oh my god! Uh, like every every time, like the amount of people who have become dissatisfied with Lucasfilm and Star Wars over things that haven't happened yet, that still, don't even yeah, like That's blows I mean, sub- me away. Subliminally, it's like you keep hearing that, and you're like, you know what? Maybe there is a problem some, here. Some people, it's a really sad to me. Unfortunate, like legitimately unfortunate. Sad, but sends me that some people have become well, no, just less think, of fans because of these things that yeah. aren't even real. Like that's yeah. that sucks. You're right. like, yeah, why are we putting that out into the world? That's it's what we got to fight, man. That's why. Every that's kind of why we're here. Of those videos is like, you know, and it's it's people, it's real people. Like these aren't just like bots in a video game. They're like, man, it's a shame to see like people who are like, it's a shame to see the company take this direction. It's like this isn't real. Like it's yeah, it's like, this it's is like, this is fiction. It's right, literal yeah. fiction that there's some and I mean, war. Well, I mean, I think Mike Zero is a very extreme case. I don't, I don't want to talk. I don't want to be. Yeah, but what comes I don't off? Want to talk of drama, him. but yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's. I'm just saying, like, that's kind of where we're trying to come in and trying to, you know, try to get as many voices together as we can and just become like, for lack oh, of a better term, I, safest space for people to voice yeah. their opinions on Star Wars and have dialogues about Star Wars. That and is just like productive. And, when, when it comes you know, down to it, we're really just fans, you know. Like I think, you know, hearing different perspectives and different opinions on things. Because I, I think I, I love, I love when podcasts have, you know, debates on other. Uh, and I think it's well, really interesting. Obviously, respectfully, but it's interesting. So yeah. And I, I I've told uh, John and Dylan this before, but one of the quotes I always go back to when we're talking about the Star Wars fandom is that this this war represents a, a failure to listen. Mm-hmm. And I think because I know that. Great uh, John, Dylan, and I don't all agree on specifically Star Wars stuff, and that's that's fine. The fact that we're still able to be friends and talk to each other, I think. Oh, I, I hope you know that's part of the reason why I was like, "Yeah, let's let's get this guy on our 
stuff it's, because that, me like, and Johnny well, yeah, are too yeah. like minded. Like that is really key. That to me is that we have to show that we can still talk to each other. Not a hundred percent. Fine way. Yeah. And, and <laughs> no, not 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 the only reason, but like yeah, oh, no, oh I see what you mean. Oh, yeah. oh and, and that too. Yeah. Right. But it's about right, the way about... we. It's about the way we talk to each other. That's important. That's where I think. Yeah. I am. I agree. I I I I want to try and put out positivity. I am critical of those of those who don't. But like they, I want to you know just reinforce that those people have every right to do and believe what they're doing. Yeah. And like 100%. nothing, nothing yeah. is inherently wrong about that. I just think it's 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 harmful to the fandom, which obviously doesn't like. I mean, it has been to be to be truthful. Like to be truthful, it has. No. Yeah, you know. I just think right. it's been harmful to fandom, and in, but on in light of that, you know, someone who I don't personally agree with on Star Wars stuff, but who I respect a great deal, Mister uh, Star Wars Only, who you may oh. know on YouTube you're... and Instagram and Twitter, I, we we I think we're gonna get him on the show, viewers. We're gonna get Star Wars on. Star Wars Only on the show. We're gonna have a, Star Wars Only. We're gonna have a there's there's a tease and Brie others. Larson, yeah. Brie Larson fights Star Wars Only and Pablo Hidalgo <laughs> only on all new nerds. Yeah, I mean that's 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 an exclusive coming well, soon. Coming also soon. with the soon. next generations of fans who are very into influencers and people online and taking what they say for fact and every and just taking what they say yeah. and making their opinions based off them. Like I feel like we could really get an interesting dialogue and just like make sure not not make sure people are on the right track, but try to just like give people space to be like, oh yeah, maybe maybe it's not all this way, you know. And and specifically, yeah, just like open to new perspectives is all really. Yeah, and, and 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 specifically, why I wanted to get Star Wars only on was because I want when I watch his videos, mm. like I know that, uh, like even if I'm not agreeing with what he's saying, the way he, the way those videos are made, it's still like I can still enjoy it just as a Star Wars fan. Like this guy clearly right. loves part of Star Wars, and it's, it's it's about that core argument that if you love any part of Star Wars, then you are a Star Wars. Fan. I that's like, I, it doesn't, I agree with that. 100%. And like that. And the fact that we can connect over that, that's what's more important than I hate this. And let me tell you why that's bad. Yeah. This ruins everything else. It's like, right. No, that's, like, not, that's not the way we want to do things. You don't, you don't have to know who a video game character from 2011 is to enjoy Star Wars. You can just look at Grogu and be like, that's cute. And be yeah, a Star go, Wars. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 go check out the Only Nerds Twitter to find out who Revan really is. <laughs> I, I, had to, I had to give them the scoop. I had to so, help a out. A little tease. We, I won't tell you, yeah, but like, I think we, we, we cracked the case. I, I think, think we cracked, I think we cracked the case. Guys. It's crazy that he had that appearance in a uh, Phantom Menace. But... Phantom Menace, I know George all, the like, Foresight. Like yeah, Revan wasn't cool. even invented yet, and he was like, "No, this, this guy." It, it's like Quinlan Voss in the background. Yeah, and... I was gonna. I was just about to say that. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just like just that. Where that. They, yeah. people that yeah. actually think that's Quinlan Voss is like, there's Dude, so I mean, many okay, issues. Okay, all right, with that. hold on, hold on. Hold oh, it on, is Quinlan Voss. It does even... look. No, it is. It's him. It's him. No, no, okay, okay, Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. If it was Quinlan Voss, wouldn't wouldn't. That Quite background gone. character, he was on a secret mission. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's under, under he was undercover secret mission. Now, that's the canon. There's canon no, but to the, this. the 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 writers of like the expanded stuff just saw that extra and thought he was really cool and made him Quinlan Vaughn. That's how like half of Star Wars is created. Yes. <laughs> okay, but here's the thing. But like it's. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. those who don't know, so so for those who don't know, in the scene where Jar Jar <laughs> steals the the it's that the, shot with the, the, the thing tongue. from this the tongue from yeah. the guy with the stand he goes oh dude seven seven whoop whoopy <laughs> and and then Sabal was like hey no 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 and like that all happens in the background there is an extra who looks like Quinlan Voss and that is it's all like, we're talking about exactly well, like, I mean he's got he's got like the dreads he's got you know like the um, but his race the, like, the like, war paint under his eyes yeah it's, here's the uh, thing if it like it's too close I know I know you're messing but if quite if that was him Qui-Gon's trying to get off Tatooine, you know? He's like on he's a like secret mission. I'm secret not even mission, messing. Dude. He's I, on his deep undercover. Yeah, he's undercover. Dude. All right. Do he mean? doesn't look like he's undercover. I'll give you that. He's hanging he out. He, he's hanging he out. The... Yeah, I mean he was kind of just chilling. He right could have changed the uh he could have changed the paint color at least. But is that paint or is that like <laughs> a like tattoo? Yeah, I... it's a tattoo, I mean, right? I mean I, that's... I'll look it up. He would sweat oh. that off if it was paint. Well, it might be Star Wars paint. So. Species is they're they're Kifar, K I F F A R. Yeah. Uh, I think they're just like. I think I think it's like either tattoo. Or... Yeah, it's tattoos. I'm, 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 yeah. Tattoo. Tattoo. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got, I mean, I gotta read Dark Disciple, man, but he, I know he's got an interesting story out there. I know, Dylan, Dylan and I, Dylan and I need to catch up on the books. I know, oh, I mean, if you guys can't see behind Levi, uh, he's, he's got quite a lot guy. of books, he's the book guy, so he reads, he has he knows the Jedi, big words. The, the ancient Jedi texts, he has, he them. gets the big words, and also on his head, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't I need to catch up? I I am about to read Plagueis. I'm about to start reading that. For the I just summer, like so seeing that. lightsabers to go. You no, know, I know bam. super late. Bam bam lightsaber. <laughs> yeah. I just like I just like seeing. I'm more man visual push. person, obviously. I mean, like, you know, I no, but I am going to start reading. I know, I know, I know like, big words like Kashik. It has three yeah. eyes in a row. Like, like how? What does that even look like? Huh? Kashyyyk. Three eyes in a row. What does that even look like? <laughs> it's honestly, it looks kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, it does look weird, and it's like green, George was just like. George I, sat there for five seconds and was like, yeah. just got to I, type. I would it. love to be in the writer's room and just like hear like how they he just slammed his keyboard and was like, no, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I got one for you. Kiadi Mundi. Kiadi Mundi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, big head. He's got a lot of words in there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Brand. He's a cool. He's a cool guy. I like anyway, Mundi. So you were talking about like, uh, reading Dark Disciples by Quinlan's story. Yeah. If, if you want a solid viewers and, and, and my fellow co host here good Quinlan Voss story. It's the Star Wars. It starts as Star Wars. It started in 1998. It was the mainline comic started in December 1998, I believe, before Phantom Menace. That turned into uh, Star Wars Republic from issues 45 to 83, which is like what the Clone Wars used to be. Like that's mm-hmm. what the that's what the Clone Wars covered. And yeah. within that story, Quinlan Voss is a main character. And that's where like the line like he moved his troops to Boss Pity from Revenge of the Sith comes from, and like mm-hmm. that's where George gets mm-hmm. Ayla Sakura from. Like he famously sees the comic cover and he's like, "She looks cool," and puts her in Attack of the Clones. No, 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 she looks hot. That's what he said. Yeah, he's, no, he's big into Twilight. Uh, that's the yeah. same reason why. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Don't even, don't even get me started on Darth Talon and <laughs> Josh from Den and Dirds, man. He 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 doesn't hold back when talking about. I it. don't <laughs> understand. It, like, Darth and, Talon, and I don't, man. and I don't mean, I don't mean that she isn't like an attractive character i mean like darth talon is a character like 150 years after the original trilogy right yeah yeah and, yeah. and she was uh, and she had a there was a like a hot toys of her and george was like yeah put her in the uh the, the statue darth, the darth ball game and the darth ball <laughs> game got canceled because he yeah had no idea, he didn't know how to do game development and I, you can see footage of that it was the game cool. yeah it was but then, good, but that, then, was a, but, that was a good george impression i get it i want to work on mine yeah you know uh, we should do a Star uh, Wars impression. Was that right? It wasn't quite but, the Yoda okay. one. No, no. I... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but 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 like and then now and now this this the drama community is obsessed with that. Darth Talon is was supposed to be the villain of and it, he said it, George said it himself in that interview with Paul Duncan that she was going to be the villain in the sequel in his original right. sequels. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's like I just want everyone to know that, and you can see her in the Force Awakens concept art book. It, yeah, it's a, yeah. like the obsession with Darth Talon is so bizarre to me. I just want I don't viewers, really to, it, viewers yeah. to know well, that, I mean, that the character I know, I is to would her. be totally, but it, it wouldn't be the it just be totally disconnected be from what character. the character actually is. Like the the character itself is so heavily tied to Darth Crate and right, yeah, Asherod yeah, yeah, yeah. Het and being related to him and like the one Sith that like a version of Darth Talon. I don't know. It's I mean, just like, it's don't... just. It, she would only be Talon by name and appearance. Like the whole yeah, character right. is entirely different. I just want I just want people to know that like, it's just weird to me that everyone's like, this is what it would have been. And she's just like, oh, well, no, I, I think I think most people just like, I mean, just not I think most people kind of know on a surface level just being <clears> cool and just like, you know, having red lightsaber and being another Sith, like a cool Sith. Yeah, um, right. for sure. Or that I don't think it's necessarily like, you know, like yeah. how it was written or anything. I always was but, conflicted with doing something like that where it's like because I feel like Kylo was a really good take because it's like he's not supposed to be as strong as Darth Vader. It's one because you already did Darth Vader, and two, it, it just wouldn't feel right if you had a character that was more badass than Darth Vader. You know what I mean? And the thing with Kylo is he's, he's always conflicted. He's always like right fighting yeah, with but, the light side. It's, it's the opposite of it's sort of the inverse Anakin. Right. Yeah. Right. That's Vader why it's was, so compelling and stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. Hundred percent. Yeah, I, feel, I, just, I think that's why I can. That's like out of the sequel stuff. I really like Kylo, and I wish his character got a little more actually. But I think he was a great character. Yeah, Ben 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 Solo is a real gem. Adam Driver as Ben Solo as just Han Solo's. Hot, like I want to see Solo's more, son. man. I want to see more so bad. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, um, and I, I mean, like, wasn't there this whole thing? Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I think I actually they talked about it on KRT at one point, but there was like this whole thing that maybe there's going to be like some kind of 
Something like uh, Ben Kylo Solo after episode There's... nine. Ben Solo after episode nine. Well, just but... the the rumor that they reported on was just, yeah. just that there was a Ben Solo project. Yeah. In you know they were considering her in the works. It could right. have been before. Okay. That can mean a lot. Yeah. Oh, that, before, that, that can mean a lot. Episode seven or whatever. Um. Okay. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Skywalker Academy, even though that's probably a clothing line. I don't know. I mean, it, that. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're circling now, but if they ever do a Luke thing, I that could be a that could be an interesting take to do. Yeah, but you know what they say, Dylan? Spinning is a good trick. So. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's not. Like that. That's not wrong. <laughs> that's what they say. That's a good trick. That's a good trick. Now this is podcasting. <laughs> isn't there a podcast oh, dude, that should be our there, tagline. no no, wait, no wait, there wait. is that exists, that exists. That, i'm pretty sure that's a podcast yeah, yeah that, that, that is yeah right. you trust me that was a that yeah. was definitely i think considered. someone thought of that like on yeah you know, day i think may 23rd whatever 1999 they were like, everyone has thought about that and then looked it up and then got very disappointed when they found out yeah. that it existed <laughs> um so well, i don't well, i don't want to run this too long is there any we usually just go for like an hour, hour and a half. Is there any long, sort of we, closing remarks? Well, um, in terms of final news stories, so yeah, let's in, do some, let's in, do in the news just as the last one last note. So a while ago, uh, a woman named Soraya Wilson, who I believe is an author, won like a charity thing and mm-hmm. did this interview with Ryan Johnson that over the oh. past like three months she's just been releasing like tidbits from and every time it makes news first it was the sequel thing that he's still making or rather that he was still making his still movies making trilogy yeah. and then like but but yesterday uh she revealed that ryan had been in talks with dave filoni to direct an episode of the mandalorian and then it just it's just basically up to scheduling and he's really interested in directing one i want and, it i want it i want and so I'm and for, for, for those who don't know that uh ryan directed a lot of episodes of Breaking Bad, I believe. He directed the episodes Ozymandias and The Fly, which are Knives two, like, Out. Full... Knives Out, great. Wait, Ryan did The favorite. Fly? I believe so. I don't think so, but... I could be All wrong. Right, keep keep um, talking. I'm going to... But, but no, yeah, Ryan Johnson is a, is a really... He did do really The great Fly. Di- what the director. hell? I thought so, yeah. Oh, oh, I was I was thinking about one of the writers who I confused as the director. Um, no, he, he directed it, yeah. The Fly is probably my favorite episode. I hey, but anyway... That. Point B, I want to see that. He knows TV just as much as he knows yeah. film, and so, wait, what do you guys think about him directing an episode of Mando? I I'm so for it, man. I I really like Ryan Johnson as a director. I think even in terms of cinematography, he's be- amazing. It, I don't know how much he has to do with that, but just everything I've seen from him is, has a great lot, cinematography. Yeah. But also, just he tells a good, he's able to tell a really good story, and I think Mando is a perfect fit for some someone like him. Yeah. No, I, I, think- I I I agree. I want to see I want to see that episode. I mean, like again, yeah. He 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 knows TV. He knows film. I mean, we can we don't have to. We don't really need to. We don't need to get into the whole last Jedi conversation. But um, we'd go for too many. We go we go for way too long. But no, I, I think I think he yeah he, he's a I, he's genuinely a good director. I mean, last Jedi aside or whatever. But um, you know, I think he's a good director. I, I think you know, with Mando it would make perfect sense, and I think it would work. I mean. There were some directors that I wasn't like, you know, too entirely sure about last season. Even the last um, episode, you were like, "Oh, I don't really like this director." Yeah, yeah Peyton, Peyton Reed. Reed. Peyton yeah. Reed, like, not my favorite director. Not gonna lie, like, he just kind of. Eh, it was right. an interesting choice, and, and it wasn't it originally supposed to be John Favreau. Was that like it the was? Pop- but I believe there point, was, yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, Robert Rodriguez was a was a stand-in as well. They yeah, him, like, and he did very and short he did beautifully. Notice. But my thing with that is that it's it has, they don't. I feel like they don't, the directors don't have too much influence on exactly what happens in the story. It's like, it is very set by Dave and John, like. like in, uh, in terms of, in it. terms of TV, uh, when you're dealing with a, the, the format of television, yeah, typically the showrunner and writer right. are, are more important than the director. The director right. They're there for own. every episode and they like influence. Yeah. What, what yeah I mean, John, John and Dave are, well, were always on set. I mean, or. I guess I can't speak because I wasn't there, but it seems like they're always on you set. No, I wasn't. Wait, no, yeah. yeah you but even though that's Wait, that's my ah, dream you job. You I thought there? you played Grogu. My dream job. I played Grogu, dude. Could you? Oh, <laughs> where's you? Where's you, Frogman? Oh, I wish right. that'd be sick. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what are you talking that about? Was that was me. That Frog was me. The suit. The suit um, was over there. I do really want to see. Um, what's her name? Good Return. one. Good one, guys. That was really funny. The daughter of Ron Howard. Bryce um, Dallas Howard. Bryce, Bryce Dallas, Dallas Howard. Howard. I want to see her. She makes some great episodes. And I want to see her come back. I want to see Rick Famuyiwa come back. He made some also some really good episodes. Yeah, 
Uh, Dave most... Filoni's got to come back too. Well, obviously Dave's going <laughs> to come back. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, Filoni's. Well, I think I think he'll likely direct all of Ahsoka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my, the Ahsoka episode. I was a little worried because I am on the boat. I didn't. Best like the... episode of the show. Yeah, I didn't like, like the episode. I rewatched it literally the day the um. Like right before the announcement for the Hot Toys, I just saw I just saw it. Oh, I literally right, watched cool. episode five, and then the Hot Toys got announced for so for the Mando. What, so what were you saying, Dylan? Anyways, so correct me if I'm wrong, but he did the Tatooine bounty hunter episode in season one, correct? Yep, chapter uh, the Gunslinger chapter. Yeah, five, yeah. I, I don't love, I I don't really love that episode, but Ahsoka blew me away. Like just yeah. that's why I was a little bit like, uh, okay. Well, you got to think know, about it. He never directed like I mean, obviously he did the Clone Wars, but he never really directed did or did anything with like you know live action live action television yeah. like that well he did one of the first episodes he also worked on avatar the last airbender yes right. and that's and that's avatar. my favorite show man the that's, top three yeah. shows oh yeah and uh yeah i actually videos. a hot hot take of mine is i i think that episode five is good i like it yeah like fair it. enough season yeah. one yeah i don't have a problem with it i'm, I'm much like, is, yeah, hopefully we can oh, when i say i don't like it it steel means it's wars just, on the show steel saunders also enjoys that episode i do believe in I, sure. I like every Mandalorian episode. It's just ranking them, I would put it toward the bottom. I just, the yeah. stuff with Fennec Shand is so good. Like, that's, what, that, yeah. that's what makes that episode. Do you like Toro Calican? I think that's where a lot of dislike I think he's just like, he's like, whatever. He does his job. I don't like hate him, but yeah. I don't love, he's not like yeah. my favorite, but it's just like, yeah. the, the sequence where Fennec Shand is shooting at them on the speeders is just so like, I love that. It's it is cool. and, and it's crazy she came back like well season done. two. Right. Yeah, and now Bad Batch. And, and the and stinger Batch. with Boba Fett at the end there. Like, dude, we got that guy yeah. people talking. Like, I love oh, I like that episode. Oh, yeah. 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 At first, it never hit me that that could have even been Boba Fett. I thought it was, I thought it was um, Carl Weathers' character for some reason. I was like, oh, he, he, yeah, Grief Cargo. Wow. He's chasing down Mando. So he's, this is him. But uh, no. I was, I, yeah. I, 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 no. I, 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 I think I'm trying to think. To back to I, I'm pretty sure I was like that must be Boba but like well I, I mean you hear the spurs they like, were it talks about it yeah. Sound. yeah 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 but now he's here and well he's it turned out it show, so well yeah, yeah it was it was Boba I guess for some reason yeah. I thought maybe it was Cobb Vanth but no that doesn't make sense just because Cobb had the armor yeah people had theorized it was Cobb right yeah. so the was the the spurs sound just like a nod to Empire like was it, that it's an Empire and in the reshot scene in a new hope right. But I'm just saying, like, is that just why they used it? Just I think it's just an audio cue. It's an yeah, audio cue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what's interesting about Boba in the first uh, episode that he appears in season two? Like, there are some fans that didn't know that was Boba. Like, I've seen some reactions at the very end. It's like, who is that? Oh, yeah. is, that like a, yeah. is that an unmasked Tuscan? Specifically, yeah. Uh, James Bainey from the Resistance Broadcast, fellow Star Wars show, famously... Uh, like went the whole time and like got onto the show and like I, his other host had to text him like oh my god the thing at the end he was like what like what thing <laughs> and they're yeah, like Boba hilarious. Fett he's like he's like huh Boba Fett like, where Boba, yeah, Fett. Boba Fett it's like Han <laughs> Boba Fett Boba Fett um yeah I mean like well you got to think about it. I mean like in the original trilogy he never took his helmet off and also it's like Tim and like I mean it makes sense I, obviously I it makes sense but you know like we've never no, it's, seen it's true it's true yeah so I I, I understand that but obviously I. I think we all knew, and you know, so. Yeah, right, well, I mean, that show got leaked to hell before it came out. So, yeah. well, well, we love Brie Larson the thing to did. round out the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, good thing Brie Larson. Actually, Brie Larson is Boba now Fett. joining us. Brie Larson. <laughs> yeah, try, and Brie, we trust. Yeah. Brie Larson, we trust. Yeah. Brie Larson um, punches me and fucking walk. Yeah, yeah places that, me. That, um. Day. Yeah, but back to the, the main point where we kind of went on tangent. Ryan Johnson, he would be incredible in Mando. And I, yeah, I, I would totally be down to see what he has to do for Mandalorian. Mando. Mando. I love the way he says that. It's like my favorite. Mando. Word. Yeah, yeah, it's so, awesome. Mando. Mando. Go check out John's helmet review over on Home yeah, yeah, it was really well done. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think if you guys are good, yeah, I think it's a good place to wrap it. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, we're gonna wrap yeah, it up there. Go I think we. I think we had a really great conversation today. I think Levi adding you really adds a really good dynamic to the. There was so. wasn't a lot of downtime. Yeah, when this there is was, the we first and last episode stuff. with Levi. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Uh, it good was good. It was, it was good to be here. I'm going to fade away now. Yeah, <laughs> but no, Levi is officially the third member of All New Nerds. He's the new yes, member. He's gonna be. So he's to gonna be involved him. with everything moving on in the future. We do have a lot of plans, live streams, uh, more podcasts, more videos. We got a lot coming Interviews. that we want to do. 
interviews, interviews yeah, yeah we got some yeah we might have some things lined up that if you made it this far thank you but you might be interested in uh we got, I, we got some people i always see commenting consistently so thank you guys right um, yeah and yeah so we want to start doing lives on the channel obviously uh, right now the channel is super small but we obviously hope to grow as time goes on no we actually want to stay really small that's yeah, the goal. That's the idea. yeah that's I, uh, actually can we lose a few subscribers yeah, let's go, yeah. if you don't like, mind unsubscribing right at 300 is no, where don't I say be. that don't yeah. say really that heard, i've heard a lot of people be like wow you guys have grown fast for six months and i'm like really like that's yeah. like i feel like we're in like i don't know we're kind of I don't want to say we're, we're growing we're, we're growing now guys all right let's, yeah. let's, let's keep it going all right yeah but yeah let's just this has kind of been like a little bit of a shift in the channel where we're kind of i feel like we're kind of you know really grinding now. yeah i think we're i think forward. we're figuring i mean we figure we've been figuring it out for the you know, yeah and i mean that's how it is it's always going to be changing and growing yeah but um yeah but just one last thing if you are a small content YouTube creator and you want to work with us or do something with us, we are totally open to have you on. I mean, obviously, unless you're a dick. So, I mean, there's that. So okay, we're going to be doing some, uh, we're going to be doing yeah. a little bit of, little yeah, bit of that, uh, what he said, you know, no, I'm kidding. A little well, bit I'll, of investigating. I'll, I'll love, love. But yeah, it's like, we're doing a, like a Nick Fury, man. Like, yeah. together, don't be afraid to hit us up. Putting together a crew. I'll, we'll respond to anyone, Instagram, yeah. Twitter. And if you found our phone numbers, give us a call anyone don't be a dick Who f- yeah yeah you unless you're an number? asshole if you know you're an asshole you're don't don't come on but uh before we keep talking i think that's where we're gonna wrap it up so right. this has been dylan watching, johnny guys. and levi with all new nerds, all new nerds have dude. a good one Woo-hoo-hoo. yeah